Got a potion that I'm mixing up today for a fun little card project. Hey everyone, it's Kathy Zilski. Welcome back to my channel and my studio. Today, got some fun products from Waffle Flower Crafts. I'm gonna mix them up in a potion and hopefully come up with something cute. To see my card project, stick around. It's coming up next. Here's a look at the products I'll be using today. And this is a really funky idea. I'm going to make a potion bottle. These are the dyes, but this is the cool part. This is the Love Potion stencil. Now on this stencil, as you can see, there are directions. So we have the highlights, how to do the actual process. It says die cut, two, stencil potion one, three, stencil potion two. So it gives you everything you need on the stencil. So I think that's gonna be really fun. There's also a stamp set that goes with this to stamp on some of these greetings and these will die cut out your little things. So that's very fun. Then I have this stencil and this is the bouquet elements. So you have two layers of big bubbles and little bubbles to do whatever you want. And I'm not sure what I'm gonna do yet. I still need to pull some inks, but the first thing I have to do is I'll go ahead and die cut my bottle, and then we're gonna start adding color and see what shakes out. I've got my grip mat out here, my eight and a half square grip mat, and I'm gonna start just focusing on the bottle. And here we've got one die cut stencil, number two, potion one. So I'm going to line up, oh, it's very sticky. I'm gonna line up my bottle outline right on the die cut, which is nice because you can see, you can see right through it like that. And then to mask off, I had cut these little cropping squares. I can't find them to save my life. So I'm just gonna take that and press it down. This is just a piece from one of my other grip mats. All right, I'm gonna do the first color. I'm gonna use some Concord and Ninth colors today. And the first color I'm gonna add to my potion is a little pink lemonade. It's a really light, soft color, and I think this will be nice. I'm probably gonna keep this much more monochromatic. All right, let's get you in here. I'll just blend that on. And then I think what I might do, I could be wrong. This is where you just kind of have to experiment. I think I'm gonna blend down a little bit of my darker color before bringing in the little circle. It's not really a circle, I guess it's an oval. I'm gonna get a little honeysuckle. I'm gonna tap a little off here because that's a little, little, little hot. We're gonna come in a little hot here and I'm gonna come down just a little with some of this, like that. That's for a little, it's for a little dimension and then just kind of soften like that. So just a little extra, then I'll take this and I'm gonna bring in the number two, is that what it is? Like that, that looks good. I'm gonna cover this up again to protect that and then I'll bring this in darker right here. Yep, I think that's gonna be great. So you're gonna get a little more of this deep color and then it's kind of drifting down. Down, like that, and kind of blend it over a little. And just create, create a little, a little surface there. Who doesn't love a nice hot pink liquid, right? <laughs> I would take it, no problem. All right, let's lift that up and see. So you can kind of see how it has a little bit coming down, not much. All right, let me wipe this off. I'm just using rubbing alcohol with this. It's really nice for cleaning because when you use it, and I just keep it in this little bottle, learned about this from my friend Carissa who is out, has all the pretty things, and keep it in a little bottle. And the nice thing is when you wipe things off with alcohol, they dry instantly. And so there's no wetness that you're bringing back to your project. 
All right, so now let's see. Highlight is the last step, but I am gonna do some of that in pink as well. So let's come over here and do, again, I just gotta line this up. I think I'm close enough here, maybe a little off in the bottom, but you know what, I think we're gonna be fine. I'm gonna do the honeysuckle down here too, and I'll just blend this on, bring it on up. I have to hold that down so it doesn't pop up. Do a little shadowing too, you know, where you just sort of get it a little darker on one side. Holding that in place. Let's just create a little glowiness. Now, it does say here there are highlights, but what I want to do is I want to fill in a little more of my bottle. Uh, I want that to be pink. Okay, and now it's time to go back to, well, I guess I could take whatever's on the brush, but right now I think I want to come back to this. I'm going to mask this off just for a second because I'm not sure how I'm going to handle this one, but I need to clean this brush off like that. Works great. Now I can come back in and just bring in this lighter pink like that. Right there. And actually, I think while I'm here, I will also do that. Oh, I'm, no, I'm on. I'm on a little here, but I'm going to say we're going to pop that there too. Like that. Coming down. Overlapping a little. Now it says white ink, but I don't know if I'm going to do that until, until I get to. I want to make sure that. See right here. I might do some white ink over these. All right, drop you right on there. I gotta shift it a little because I want it to line up right on the bottle. Oh, I guess it can come out of the bottle a little like that. Okay. I guess go like that. Okay. All right. What I think I'm going to do actually is get this back over here because I want there to be more of a separation between, I want that to stand out more as the honeysuckle. And then I'm gonna bring in some bubbles in white pigment ink. Let's go like this. I want that to be darker all the way across. Yep. A little more separation. That's what's nice with a simple shape stencil. I'm gonna lift this off Oop. <laughs> like that. So we have a little more separation. Now, let me get this cleaned off and I'm gonna add some bubbles in this area. So now I think this is gonna be very fun, right? You got these bubbles. I'm just gonna pick an area that looks pretty bubbly. Uh, and actually I could just do, I could just do that like that. Press it down. Now here's where we're gonna have some fun. I am, I'm going to pounce on some white pigment ink. So that way I don't have to worry as much about getting, getting things mucky muck, right? I'm not gonna blend. I'm gonna do a little pouncing. So let's see what happens. I should mask this off though up here though. All right, we're just gonna bring in Some bubbles with this stencil. Now of course that means there's going to be some dry time, right? It's going to have to, there's one round, pick you up. Let's see what that looks like. It's probably going to be subtle. I don't know. Oh, it's very cute though. I can see them in there. Just little bubbles. Okay, coming in here like that and again. It might not show up that much right now. Oh, but I can see them in there. <laughs> oh, you can see, you can totally see them. This is so cute. Oh my gosh. All of a sudden, it starts to look like bubbly potion. And I think that is very, very, very fun. 
pouncing and pouncing, pouncing, and look, nothing really comes off on the pouncer. Oh, I think that's super fun. So now we have a few little bubbles in there. Now, if I had gone darker, I think with my potion, it might look a little more bubbly, but I'm gonna go wash this off in the sink because that is too much ink to just, uh, how you say, use uh, alcohol on it. Hold tight. All right, let's lift this up and then we'll move on to the bottle top. It's so cute. It's very subtle. I kind of wish I would have gone a little darker now, but you can see when we hit the light, the little bubbles. <laughs> Okay, setting you aside. I'm going to use a little spray alcohol just to get that pigment off because that's not very much. Have a wipe right off and dry right away. We have to move on to doing the bottle, the little the little corker. Look how cute that is. It's just so tiny. Press you down, right? And let's see what numbers we have here. We have uh, just a couple. So I guess here we'll come in like that. And I guess for this, um, would I do lighter or darker? I guess it doesn't really, you know what? I'm just gonna see what's on my brush. Let's see what's on the brush. Let's see how it looks. It's a great way to clean your brush, just what's on the brush, you know? Cause I really did wanna just do this sort of in a two-toned sort of way. Come over here. And this one, I will clean my brush just to go a little lighter. Like that, keep it light. Like that. Okay, so that way our little topper has a couple of the colors in it. All right, now I guess, now that I have this guy, right? And this guy, which is my little, my little, my little bottle topper. Um, now I can move on to some stamping. So let me get cleaned up so we can do that. So I most definitely want to have that label shape on here. And I think what that means is I'm going to stamp this little friend and this little, I'm gonna make it cute. But here's what I love about the Concord inks. I'm gonna use a piece of honeysuckle cardstock to make this little piece that's gonna pop onto my bottle. So let's pop this in here. And I also have a grip mat in here to hold my cardstock in place. And I'm going to take this out. But then I could, you know, there's other things you could stamp on here, but I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna do this one first. And I might also do a tagger in one of the others. So this little guy, which you can have coming off the top of the bottle, let me just see which one would be cute. What about you are pyramid? Yeah, I like that too. Okay, just a lot of little things you can stamp here, but I'm gonna do these two for my bottle. I mean, this is, this is ready-made for a, the day of love if I wanted to do that. Press you back in. Now I'm gonna prime my stamps just a little. All right, get them ready for taking ink. And then I'm gonna have to gently place these in, but I, th I think I can do it. I think I can do it. All right, let's move you guys out of the way for now. I've got some Simon Says Stamp anti-static powder. Just gonna pop some on here so that my actual embossing powder, which is going to be Brutus Monroe Alabaster, only sticks to wear. I am stamping my Versamark. Okay, get this pad nicely done. Bring you over and press. I'm just gonna walk my fingers over it. See how that first impression looked? Well, it's pretty good. I think I'll do it again. I think I might've, no, did I go a little heavy at the top? I don't think so. I think I could press a little more at the bottom here. Okay, like that, all right. Now, I wanna see if I could easily place, let's get you in there. I think that's gonna work. I'm gonna do one more. If I can easily place the other friends right in there. So this can come off. Actually, I should wipe this off with my little cloth. There we go. No, not too bad. My little head is getting in the way. 
Actually, you know what works great for this? Most of the time, not all the time, a pencil. It doesn't have to be perfect, right? We're just getting it down. You know what? I think that's going to be good. Now I could test it and see. I'm actually just going to go like this. Ah, I think it's going to be great. All right, picking you up. Go like that, give it a little prime. Ink, press, let's see. Oh, I did good. It's so good, I love it. Okay, but I'm not pressing too hard, right? I don't wanna smush it out, but now I'm gonna grab my little folded piece of copy paper. All right, take this out. Grab my little clothespin and let's sprinkle on our white powder. Now I have been handling this paper a bit. I hope it doesn't stick too much. Oh, no, that looks pretty good. I only have a couple areas that I need to dust off. Okay, I'm gonna sneeze, not in the powder. Oh my, okay. Right, let us zoom in a little bit here because I just need to take my brush and brush this off. So I've got these little angled shaders. And that's what we do. We just get the extras off the edges and I think that looks really clean. We are ready to heat. Gosh, that is so cute. Oh, stand up there, little guy. Isn't that cute? Let me get the dies to cut this out. I'll run these through my die cut machine to cut them out. I'm gonna glue one extra layer to the back of the center greeting. I cut out an extra for the tag too, but I don't think I'm gonna do it for the tag. We're just gonna come up like that. And that will just give this a little more heft to it on the front of the bottle. I'll just get it lined up. It also helps with any warping. And then I will press that like that. I mean, I guess I could. I, I love when these little die cuts have more dimension. So maybe I will. Let's pop that out. It's not going to hurt anything. So <laughs> go ahead and do it uh, a little here. Although then you have the tagger issue. No, I'm going to leave this as is. All right. Pressing that. Now I have to think about my card panel, like the panel itself. I do have an idea. I went ahead and cut out another panel of honeysuckle because I think, now I could be wrong, because this is going to go onto a note card, which at this point I think is going to be white. But I wanted to have a cute little stitched edge because this has a stitched edge. And I think what I'm going to do is go ahead and pounce on some of that bouquet elements to create just a little more bubble themed panel. So here again, I'm gonna take my pigment ink and this will take a little drying, right? I, I can't jump into it right away. I'm gonna have to let some of these layers dry. So it's gonna be just kind of a, you know, we're, we're just gonna pounce on some bubbles. Like that, go into the edge. And that's gonna give us this kind of cool, lighter look, right? You could do this with, of course, if you just wanted to do a light pink background panel, and then you could blend on some of the actual dye inks. But I just thought, you know what? I don't get to use, I don't get to pounce enough. And I don't use pigment ink enough. And sometimes I think it's really fun to just do, see? And this doesn't, I'm just gonna twist and circle, go around. And then I'm gonna let it dry, of course, because I want to come in with this as well to add a few more bubbles. Not that you'll see a lot of them, but now we'll lift. And we're gonna have these sort of glowy bubbles. And that is going to be oh, super cute. Let me let this dry. I'm gonna wash this off. And then we'll come in with the next layer. Let's just pop you 
right here. There'll be a little overlap, right? Not too much. And again, I'm just gonna pounce, pounce it on just for some more bubbles. Pounce, 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 pounce and twist. It's gonna be so cute. Don't have to worry about the inside bubbles because those won't even show up, right? But these outer ones will be so cute. And that way we are just reinforcing our little bubble theme. And that is all she wrote. Lift it up. And again, let that dry. Isn't that cute? All right. Next, let's make a white note card. I just flung that off to the side. All right, let's go five and a half. Get in there. So this is going to fold to be a USA two, so four and a quarter by five and a half. And I'm going to press this down with my Teflon bone folder. And then I think I'll also tape it shut because I want this to be flat while I'm, cause see there, it's just so thick, which is why it's awesome. But for my purposes here, and I actually think, I don't know why, but I feel like I may just glue this directly to the base instead of popping it up because I'm going to have other things happening. So let me grab some tape runner. I think this is mostly dry. You know, pigment ink takes a few, so I'm actually going to put this on a piece of paper. I actually have a scrap panel. This is actually lightweight cardstock because I want to make sure that I can get my tape runner on here. without mucking up whether it's dry or not. Takes time, takes a while to dry. But that will keep it nice and flat. Pressing you down, basically like that, right? Yeah, that looks good. I'll just do that. That way if there's any that's not dry, but that's gonna be great. All right, now I will get some foam squares. Three and four and I may take let's see do I want to see if I can squeeze this in does that pop yeah it does pop in I do want this to be inside right holding the bottle stopper like that so I'm actually gonna flip this take a bit of pink tape like that see that way if the pink comes through it doesn't really matter right no one's gonna notice because that is gonna go right out of the panel so cute. And that way too, I can take uh, this little piece and pop it here. And then I think I'll do one in the middle, but I, I want to show you something because I do have even more pink. See, this is very monochromatic. Of course, you could do something like this, you know, with other things, but I have this kind of old, I'm, I'm not sure how old, but it's pretty old. I have this baker's twine in various pinks. This is a pack from Doodlebug, and I'm not sure if I can source it, and I don't know which pink I wanna do. I mean, I could go with the darker pink. I could go, this pink actually looks like uh, Concord and Ninth Sweet Pea, but I think what I'll do, let's see what this looks like first. I'm gonna cut you like that. And I think I'm just gonna wrap it a couple times around the bottleneck. Now, this is not my super strong skill set, but I think we're going to make it work. So I like that. I like that. That might not have enough contrast, but we'll see. Coming around, coming around like that. There we go. I just want it to stay there. Don't, don't move. Okay. Maybe what I need to do is tie this on first. Okay. Because if I do, then I don't have to worry. All right, so let's thread you through. Nice and easy peasy, breezy, okay. And then we're gonna tie a little loop to loop. And if I don't like it, I'll cut it off. That's, that's the beauty of that. I know I could probably use my, uh, what are they called? The, oh no, that's gonna be just fine. Look at that, that's where I wanted it. I want it to be kind of hanging off the edge here and then I'll put a little bow on it and we'll see if we can make that look cute. 
Bow tying also not my strong suit, but come down, come down, come down, make a little guy, bring it, bring it, bring it a little more. <laughs> and that is how we watched paint dry on Kathy's YouTube channel. Pull. Actually, that's not bad at all. Okay, I'm not gonna take the little strings off yet, but just because I like to adhere things, I will just pop that there. So let's pop this onto the panel. Let's place you, I want the bottom to be in the right place, but the top can totally just break that plane a little. Oh no, that'll fit perfectly. All right, press. And you are here and you are here and this is just going to get pushed right into the front like that. Okay, because that's the front of the bottle and it's going to sit right, is that, does it sit there? Okay, this is crazy that I've gone this far and I don't, I don't love that in the center because then you don't see as much of my bottle and potion and I'm feeling a little wild right now and I think I am actually going to stamp I think I might just stamp on here directly. You know what? I'm going to roll the dice here. I might ruin this card, but I think this is so cute. So hold tight. So here's why we love our Misty tool, because we can, we can do things after the fact, even when we think, oh, I messed that up. I don't think Love Potion will come. I think... Well, I think it's gonna have to be that I'm enchanted by you. All right, I think this is gonna work. And this is why, even though, right, this is not what I initially thought I was gonna do, I don't like the idea that the other guy covers everything up, but I think this will work. <laughs> okay, we're gonna do little light taps. This is not even, but you know, or the surface, you know, cause we've got, we've got the, Foam squares, but you know what? If you go light and you take your time, right? We're gonna get it in there. That's why we have a misty tool. It's gonna work. Mm. Mm. Yep, yep. Gonna come again. Look at that. It's gonna work. Oh, pressing down. <laughs> I got it. Okay. Love potion. Because that way he'll get the idea of what it is. You know, you don't wanna you don't wanna leave it to chance, right? Love potion. Yeah, yeah. There we are, the apothecary of love. I'm gonna stamp this on. Now again, would it have been smarter to do this first? Probably, right? Oh my gosh, that's so cute though. And again, having this misty tool. Just kind of bring it in till it sticks. Let's you get that how it needs to be. I think, you know what? Even though it's getting a little light right on that T, I think that's okay. And I think that looks adorable. All right, let's trim off our ribbon. <laughs> Take a look at our finished card. We're gonna do one tail like that maybe. And maybe one tail a little shorter. I'm terrible with the tails and the ribbons. Um, and actually, I bet that could be a little shorter too. There we go. Get your bow like that. And that is my finished card project. So it's very monochromatic, right? It's very sweet. I have never done something quite this uh, layered and with all this kind of fun. But I love that when you tilt the card, you can see the bubbles inside as well. And that, my friends, that is designed to ensnare any potential love interest. You can find links to all of the products I use today in the YouTube description box. If you're not a subscriber to my channel, I'd love to have you. So hit that subscribe button and be sure to hit the notification bell so that you don't miss the next time I post. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day. To see more fun card ideas using Waffle Flower products, check out the two thumbnails I have linked below and I'll see you in those videos.